Hi, for this video what we are going to do is this time we will be given the area and we need to find the z-score that corresponds to that area under the standard normal um, the standard normal model. Um, for this particular one I am going to use the table. I also have videos that use the TI-84 and the TI Inspire graphing calculators to help you find these areas. But for now let's look at using the table. So the first thing that we want to do is we have to remember that on our table, majority of them give you the area shaded to the left. So if you have area shaded to the right, you must first find the area to the left of the, uh, of the shaded region. So for this first one, we already have an area that's shaded to the left. So we're looking for what negative z-score, and I know that this is negative because the area is less than 50%. Um, if you remember, that 50% of the area falls by the mean of the graph or the distribution. So since 15 um, is less than 50, we know that we're looking for a negative z-score. If we had an area that was shaded that, that was more than 50% to the left, um, then we would be looking for a positive z-score. So what we are going to do is we are going to look for this area, the 0.1562 in our table. So if I pull up my table, so I'm looking now for my area. Remember that the area is this part of the table. So as you notice, it starts with 0 0.003 and then it continues to get larger and larger. And so we would keep going until we find something as close to 0.1562 as possible. This one happens to be there. Um, that was done intentionally so that you guys could see it. But if I would have had something like 0.1560, um, or 0.1555, then I would have to approximate where it goes. So um, using the table is not going to give you an exact value for some of them. Um, but for this one, because we have 0.1562, this is our area right here. What we would do is we would look to the left. So our first two numbers are negative 1.0. And then we would go up to the top and our last one is 1. So the approximate z-score for this would be negative 1.01. Okay, and as I said with this, um, <clears throat> if you are using technology, it will give you a more exact answer. Um, using the table, sometimes it's going to be approximate. If it's exactly in the table, like if we find this value exactly in the table, then it's going to be really close to what technology would give us, and it would be the same thing. It's when we can't find the value that that happens. Um, for this one, remember that the table values are to the left, so what I need to do with the 0.1762 is I need to find the area to the left of this first before I start. So to find the area to the left, we would do 1 minus the 0.1762 because remember that 100% of our values have to fall underneath the normal curve. So that's where the 1 came from. So if we do 1 minus 0.762, we get 0.8238. And so since we're looking for 8, 0.8238, which is more than 50%, remember that the 50% mark was here, so um, more than 50% is to the left. We are looking for a positive z-score. So what we would do is we would pull up our table. We would go to the positive side and remember that we are looking for 0.8238. So we would scroll through on here until we found 0.8238 and it happens to be right here. And so then we would look at the left. We have 0 0.9 and then our last number would be 3. So 0 0.93 would be our z-score. So that would be the z-score that corresponds to the area that has um, 0.1762 to the right of it. For the last one, I wrote it as a percentage because sometimes it will be expressed as a percentage. It may say find the area um, that 86% is between two values, or it may give it to you as 0 0.860. Just remember that this is really the same thing as 0 0.8600. So this is what we would be looking for in our table. Um, this one we have to think about a little bit more because of the fact that we are looking for the area between negative z and z. Since it's between, that tells us that this area to the right of positive z is going to be equal to the area to the left of negative z. So these two areas are going to be equal. 
So what we have to do is because remember our table values, I can't just look for 0 0.8600 because it's between. So 86% is not the area to the left all the way down. So what we have to do first is we have to think about what we have. So we know that we have 86% shaded, which means that um, we have 14% that is not shaded. So there's 14% on the outside that is not shaded. And since both of these are equal to each other, we know that each of those areas has to be half of the 14. And the 14 came from 100% of the area has to be under the curve, and I just subtracted the 86, and that's where the 14 came from. So we know that the area to the left of the negative z is 0 0.07, and the area to the right of positive um, z is also going to be 0 0.07. So once you find either negative z or positive z, then that is the answer to your problem or the answer to your solution. Um, so what we would do is we would go to our table and I'm going to look for 0 0.0700 in the table. Okay, because 7% falls below this, and that will give me this negative z-score. And whatever the negative z-score is, um, the positive z-score would just be the opposite sign. So we would look for 0 0.0700. And so I've got to go to the negative side on this because it's less than 50%. And 0 0.070, if I go through... It's going to be in between these two values. So 0 0.0700 is not here exactly. So what I would have to do, sorry, I lost it when I scrolled. Um, it's between 0 0.0708 and 0 0.0694. It's slightly closer, but not much closer to this one um, because this is 0 0.06 away. This is 0 0.08 away from the 0 0.0700. So we would look over here at negative 1, 4 is our first value, and then negative 1, 4, 8 is what we would round to. We know it's in between those two values, um, but that would give us an approximate. It's really probably negative 1.475. Um, and our positive z-score would be 1.48. So these would be the two z-scores that they were looking for because they're looking for the negative z and the positive z. Um, the other option that we could have done, just to show you that how I could have also found this one first, is the area to the left of the positive z is the 7% plus the 86% or 0 0.9300. So I could have also gone to the positive z score side and looked for an area that corresponds to 0 0.9300. Um, so if I look through, I still want to see those top numbers. Um, 0 0.9300 would be somewhere in between these values right here, the 0.9292 and the 0.9306. And if you notice, that is the 1.4. It's slightly closer to this one, 8. So we get the same thing either way. Um, like I said, I do have videos with this that show how to do it in both the TI-84 and the TI-Inspire graphing calculators. Um, so if you want to learn how to use technology to find this rather than having to go through the table, um, make sure to check those out. As always, thanks for watching.